life struggles, happy moments, bad times, and unforgettable memories. Join us as we talk about our lives and share a laugh or two with us as we bring you along on our crazy journey called life. Welcome, Welcome to Two Wives, One, one world. world. Hey listeners, welcome back for another exciting episode. Hey guys, you know what time it is. It is time for another episode of Two Wives, One World. So grab your drink, grab some snacks, grab your sewing needles, whatever you want to do. Sit down, relax with us and listen or watch us and just enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah. And guys, tonight, if you haven't noticed, we both look a little bit different today. (laughs) And that is because we both took our makeup off. Mm Mm-hmm. Because today we are talking about ColourPop. And if you don't know what ColourPop is, um, definitely head over to their website and check them out. They are a makeup company that makes absolutely stunning makeup for a really good price. Yes. Like, seriously, ColourPop is amazing. And you'll even get to check out, well, we'll be showing you examples. They do really cool collaborations. Um, I've heard there's a rumor, well, not really a rumor, but... If you follow them on Facebook, they've been posting a lot of Powerpuff Girl gifts. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are saying, like, are you doing a Powerpuff Girl collaboration? If they do that, the whole world's going to explode. Like, everybody's going to lose their minds. Yeah. But, guys, go check out ColourPop, like Nikki said. They are amazing, and we both love this brand. Um, So what better way to kind of talk about the brand than show off some of the products we just recently got? So if yeah. that's something that you guys want to check out, keep listening and watching. And we are not sponsored by them. Um, first <laughs> off, we've never had a sponsor, so. <laughs> but um, we are not sponsored by them for this video. But if some magical way they would end up hearing this, ColourPop, we are interested. Yes. Please sponsor concerned. us. <laughs> yes. And um, with that being said, all the things that we do say in this little small review that we're doing, um, none of it is biased. We're all going to talk about the truth, how we feel about the makeup. Um, maybe there's something different that we wish was in the collection or something different we would have done. Um, it's all going to be totally honest. It's all going to be truthful. So we just want to let you guys know that um, before you watch and listen to us. So, you know, you know, we're just basically being honest with you guys. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay, so before we get into our makeup review, why don't we do our favorite segment, What is in Your Cup? Yes! What are you drinking today? Okay, so guys, it is no longer Gemini season, but I'm using my Gemini mug just because it's pretty and most importantly, it's dishwasher safe. So you know this week I'm not trying to make more work for myself. Um, Right. And I'm having some lemon water because you got to stay hydrated, guys. A little boring, a little little bit bland, but drink up, guys. Drink your water. What about you, Nikki? What do you have for us tonight? I have a new cup. Mm. It's new to the podcast, but not new to me. Um, I've actually had this cup since, I want to say, like, I've had this cup for, like, four years now. But it is this cute little, like... Ah. Yeah. Um, dotted cup. I bought this for college and I just flung condensation all over my desk. But I bought this for college and this is my favorite cup and I just never think to grab it because I'm not a big like plastic person. Like I'd rather drink out of a mug or like a glass. Mm-hmm. But this is still my favorite plastic cup ever. Yes, I love um, this cup. I, love I got it. it from Target like a long time ago. Target. And they do. Their house stuff is amazing. I know. Can't, it cannot be beat. I really can't. Um, and in my cup, I'm drinking uh, watered down lemonade, per oh, usual. So good. Delicious. Delicious. Yes, guys. So grab your drink. Like I said earlier, grab a snack. Hang out with us. Listen to this while you work out. Listen to this while you're driving. Listen to this while you're bored. Uh, If you're stressed out, give us a listen. Just um, enjoy the night with us. And if you love makeup, if you don't love makeup, if you're new to makeup, if you're a veteran to makeup, thank you guys for listening. We hope that we can be informative and show you guys what we like. Definitely. And if you are listening to our podcast, one of our podcast platforms, um, 
if you want to like visually see the makeup we have going on, um, head over to our YouTube channel, Two Eyes One World, and give us a subscribe while you're there, and go ahead and like this video. Yes, thank you guys. We love your support. Um, I guess let's just go ahead, um, get right into it. Um, Nikki, I know that this makeup collection that you got is something that <laughs> has been crazy selling out wise. Yeah. So uh, did you try to get it before or was it something that you didn't know, but then you were like, I need to have that. So I actually didn't know about it before. Um, it was kind of like, I uh, follow a couple people on, or I follow, I subscribe to a couple people on YouTube that um, are like big makeup people. And I saw that ColourPop had a Sailor Moon um, collection and at first I was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I tried to watch Sailor Moon. I really didn't get into it, so I don't really care about this makeup collection. Well, I watched a review of it, and I was like, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, my birthday is coming up, and my husband is amazing and was like, when's it going back in stock? And I'm like, I don't know. He's like, well, if it goes back in stock, let me know. You know, I'll get it for you for your birthday. Yay! Well, ColourPop announced that it was getting restocked, and I was, like, on top of that. Like, mm -hmm. the second it got restocked, I ordered from there. Yep, I remember that. And I even had one in my basket, because just in case you weren't able to get one. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I had messaged you, and you were like, oh, I already got it, I already checked out. I'm like, dang, Nikki was really on it. I was not letting it slip through my fingers. You were not here to play. Like, um, serious. <laughs> yeah, so honestly, like, the collection didn't sell out as fast as I thought it would, but a lot of the, like, single items, which I'll show you guys because I ordered the collection, it comes with all of the item items. <laughs> <laughs> Take a drink. Take a drink, guys. Items. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> all of the items um, that come in the collection. But the single items that they were selling, like the lip, yeah, the lipsticks, the lip glosses, sold out within seconds. Yeah. Like, legit like seconds. <laughs> and I understand why, because I have tested these out, and they are amazing. Oh, I love, I cannot wait to come up, just so I can definitely be able to play with your makeup. Yeah, like, I, I know. Like, I can't wait. So, I'm excited to play with your makeup when you come home, so you better yes. be bringing it. Yes. Um, tell us what collection yours is. Um, okay, for all you 90s babies out there, this one's going to hit home for you. Uh, I got the ColourPop Candyland collection. Guys, whenever I first saw that this was coming out, I was just randomly scrolling on Instagram, and I saw that they were going to be releasing a Candyland collection, and I was like, holy crap. I was like, no way. I was like, this is so nostalgic for me. So I um, looked to see when it was going to be releasing. It was later that day. And I was like, okay, you know. And I was looking through, like, the different options and stuff they were going to have for buying. And I saw that they had an entire collection and the PR collection. And the PR collection was expensive. Uh, I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, <laughs> but it came with a ColourPop Candyland board. And mm -hmm. ColourPop Candyland pieces and uh, cards. So it comes with a Candyland game, which is awesome. It which is. Ryan and I actually just played on Sunday. We played it on Sunday, and it really brought back some memories. Um, but, yeah, I got on there. I snatched it as quick as I could. And um, it, it came within a pretty good amount of time. And I just love the dang thing. Like, it's mm -hmm. just really, really cute. Like, I almost don't even want to use the makeup because it's really cute. Like, the packaging on both of our collections, you guys will see, it is top-tier, cute packaging. Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, and make sure you bring home Candyland when you come home, because I want to play it. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I, I'm just really excited um, in general, guys. Oh, also, I guess, well, I guess we could talk about that at the end of this episode. If you guys want to know if any celebrities DM'd us, listen oh um, yeah at the end of this podcast we will tell you if we got any responses so you gotta listen you gotta listen or you know you can always scroll through but that's no fun but yeah don't scroll through nobody likes a scroll thrower we'll know if you do 
<laughs> but yeah, if you want to know, keep listening, guys, and we will let you know. Did we get replies? Did we not? You will see at the end of this podcast. Yep, exactly. So I guess with that being said, um, today, guys, we are going to um, do our makeup on camera for you. So we both have our foundation and, like, concealer done already. Excuse the loud cars driving past my house. <laughs> right? That's all the time. Um but we already have our foundation and that kind of stuff done. So we are going to just do like bronzer, highlighter, eyeshadow, all that stuff. So um, I don't know about you, Cass, but I always like to do a bronzer after I'm done with my foundation. Yes, yes, let's go in for it. To just kind of bronze it up. And I do not have a ColourPop bronzer, so I'm going to be using my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Nice, nice. Yes, I also don't have a um, bronzer from ColourPop, but this is something Nikki and I both recently got. It is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's uh, amazing. Old Soleil bronzer. Um, it was free if you spent so much money. I think it was, what, like 45 or 50 bucks? You got it for free. So this is what it looks like. I don't know how well you guys can see with my camera, but it's kind of sparkly. It's super pretty. And it smells like chocolate, guys. It so. smells so good. I actually used it on my face Thank for it. work today. Um, but... I took my makeup off, my work makeup off, to do my makeup again for you guys on here. Yes. So, Nikki, were you always a bronzer fan? Did it intimidate you at all? Oh, my gosh, yes, because I am as pale. I'm not, like, super duper pale, I guess. But, like, I am a fair-skinned gal, and bronzer just always freaked me out because I was, like, um, I didn't want to look fake tanned if that makes sense like yeah. I didn't want to look orange that makes complete sense oh look guys I'm getting bronzer up here on my cat head if you can see. <laughs> that's what the headband's for right yeah exactly so just get my hair but yeah I'm I'm right I'm right there with you Nikki I'm not gonna lie like I still haven't do- dove into contour just no me either but I feel like maybe if we would practice it we would get good at it but I don't know I just it scares me We are snatched. We are all <laughs> bronzed up. Okay. So, Cass, since we're talking about ColourPop, and do you have any other ColourPop things other than just, like, your Candyland stuff? Yeah, I have some super, super shock shadows. Um, Me too. I don't have them on the screen right now. Um, I have some of those. I have a lippy stick. How do you like the lippy sticks? Because I've been thinking about getting one. I like it a lot. It is a really pretty color. Um, I'm trying to remember where what I got that with. I got it randomly. It was either like a free promotional item or I got it out of something. But I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the color because it was more of like a deep brown. But it comes, it slides on. Like, mm-hmm. it's perfect. I, really I love, love lip products. Like, you really love do. lip products. <laughs> Um, I also have Super Shock Shadows, and I did bring a couple of my other ColourPop stuff in just to, like, show off. So these two are my most, fa- my most, wow. I Take can't talk. Take a drink. <laughs> if you're having hey. adult beverages, this could get real fun real quick. For real. <laughs> um, these are my favorite Super Shock shadows, and it is um, Sailor ColourPop, and I don't, if you guys have never used ColourPop, their Super Shock shadows is a mouthful, but they're beautiful. Like, I'm going to see if I can swatch this at all. And they feel like butter. They do. They're awesome. I'm going to make sure you can, like, actually see it. I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice, but, like, this is beautiful. It's, like, a champagne color. And then this is my second favorite, and it's called Ice Dream. Ooh. And it might look intimidating because it's white, but, like, it comes off as, like, a if you're wearing, like, blue. Oh. It's so pretty. That and is so pretty. Yes, I love this one. And then I have a few more um, that I haven't really used yet. Like this one is super pretty. It's called Mint for You. Let me go. I'm going to go grab. Nikki, do you have more stuff to show? I do. I'll show that while you go grab yours. Yeah, let me go see if I can find my collection, my other collection real quick. 
Okay, guys. And so I have that mint for you. And I guess I'll do swatches while we're waiting for cast so you guys can see. Um, their Super Shock Shadows are my favorite. Like, I could just buy Super Shock Shadows and be fine with it. And if you guys have any, um, like, glittery eyeshadows that you're really into, let me know because I am a sucker for a good glitter shadow. I will literally just use it on my eyelid. Um, this one is called Moonwalk. It's kind of like a greenish brown, which I wasn't expecting when I ordered it, but it's it's pretty. I just don't know when to wear it and, like, what to wear it with. So, like, that's that one. And I think I have two more. I'm going to run out of space on my hands. This guy is called Sequin. And it's kind of like a brownish pink. So I'll swatch that one. You guys are going to get real sick of me swatching. This is going to be a really pretty fall color. It's this top one. And one more. What? <laughs> it's really weird like doing this podcast by yourself um it just makes me more thankful that I have cast to do it with because holy cow talking by yourself is a little nerve-wracking um and this one is called set to stun and it is like a deep like pinkish red color Cass I was just saying how weird it is like doing oh there's joy Doing a podcast alone, <laughs> right? Like I talking know. by yourself. It's almost like people are gonna think you're talking to yourself or something if they don't know you're on a po podcast. So, yeah, guys, that's all my super shock shadows, and I'm gonna run out of space on my arm by the time tonight's over. But literally, look how beautiful they freaking sparkle. Those are gorgeous. Those are gorgeous. And. Uh I'm getting like four more, no, six more in. Because oh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask if they came in. <sighs> no, they're supposed to come in on Thursday. And then I ordered, so ColourPop just had a big site wide um, sale that was 25% off everything except for like certain collections. Um, and I ordered a freckle pen and gel eyeliners because I've heard their gel eyeliners are amazing. I'm excited to see that stuff. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I have to demo. I do not. I do. Okay. Guys, I cannot believe I forgot about this. This is actually the first ColourPop thing I ever got. Um, it's a Disney designer collection. Oh, yeah. Uh, I totally, I don't know how I let it slip my mind, but um, Ryan got this for me for Christmas a few years ago, and it was sold out on the ColourPop site. Like, within seconds, it went out. Mm -hmm. um, and he found it on the Shop Disney site randomly. It was in stock. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to get that collection because it sold out so quick. I've barely used this just because I, like, don't want to use it just because, you know, it's a really nice collector's item, which I need to start using more of it. But um, you open it up and the princesses are there. Oh, my gosh. Um, I, rem I remember him getting that for you. And I was, like, so jealous. I was like, I that was is beautiful. So surprised. Like, this is the eyeshadow palette, guys. Um, so it has all the Disney, well, most of the Disney princesses here. Um, and some designer outfits, but this is the eyeshadow palette. Stunning. Thank you. I love it. I love it. And then I can't find my, I know exactly where my bell lipstick is actually. Um, it came with six lipsticks. Um, and each of them are named after a princess. Oh, this is bell. So maybe it's the Ooh. aerial one. Um, but I'll just show you guys real quick. The gold, um, the gold packaging is beautiful. Um, wow. and my favorite one out of this. Jasmine's really pretty, but I can't really rock Jasmine. It's a very, very bright pink. So the Snow White color, guys. Oh. Um, it came with four Super Shock shadows, three lip glosses, um, six, six lipsticks, and the eyeshadow. And um, I, I really need to use it more. But I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get something like, I don't know, something that's like a collector's item or something that I think is pretty nice, I hate to use it just because it's like, well... You know, I want to keep it nice, but, like, at the same time, it's makeup, so I probably should be using it more. Right. 
<laughs> right, and that's what, like, the makeup's for is to use. And by the time you finish that makeup up, there's going to be something else that comes out that you're going to want to want anyway, so. Yeah. Um, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we um, literally, we talk too much because we literally copy each other all the time. Um, But they also did, like, a masquerade collection and a villains collection. Mm-hmm. Um. Did you like anything from either of those collections, or did you not really look into it very much? I've looked into the villains collection because Hades is my man, and I really <laughs> wanted his stuff, but it's all sold out. Like his lipstick is beautiful. Like oh. I want it so bad. Um, but other than that, like I really wasn't that. I okay. So like my thing is, I still really love Disney, but like. I I don't know. Like, I'm kind of like, oh, it's Disney. Like, I could go with or without, depending on what it is. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. if it's an eyeshadow palette that I don't think I'll actually use, then I'm like, oh, I'm okay with not getting that. Yep. But. That's the big reason why I didn't get either of those collections, because it's almost like so many brands. And this is, like we said, no hate on Disney. They collab with so many different brands and so many clothing companies and so many, you know, this and that, that if we got everything that came out, like we literally would have no space for anything because. And no money. And no money. Exactly. But um, yeah, guys, check that stuff out. Um, Check out ColourPop. Um, Nikki showed you the, some of those shadows, Um, the, the light, the um, camera does not do those justice at all. Like, no. They are crazy, crazy, crazy. And you just put them on with, like, your finger. They go on the – for me, they go on the best with your finger. You can yes. use a brush, too. But to really get that full effect, just dip in with your finger. It's amazing. It's it crazy. Is. It's um, I also got these just recently, guys. They are the Frozen palettes. Yeah. They're Anna and Elsa. And they are so pretty. Let's see if I can open them. Ooh. And Cash, you have the Elsa one, right? Yeah, I have the, Elsa, the little Elsa collection. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like They're perfect so... because the Elsa colors are like perfect for winter and the Anna colors are like perfect for fall. Yes, I'm so excited to rock my Anna collection during the fall. I actually had um, a couple shadows on from the Anna collection for work today to match my shirt. So pretty. I love it. And I just got this palette in, too. It's the Blue Moon. Um, I've been looking into getting, like I told you, the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. But um, your girl's rocking on a budget. So <laughs> I found this from the ColourPop website and fell in love with it. That's so pretty. The blues are so pretty. Man, I'm telling you guys, if you don't know what ColourPop is, go check them out. Because, I mean... It's a great company. Should we share company. some, like, prices with them, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, uh, I don't, I can't think. I know the Super Shock Shadows are $6. Yeah. So one Super Shock Shadow is $6. Sometimes you can find them in a pack of two for, like, 10 I think. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a very affordable price point for the... the the two pack. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think what some of the other things are. Okay, so on here, I'm just gonna tell you guys the eyeshadow. Um, so for instance, one, two, three, a 15 pa- a color palette is eighteen dollars for 15 pigments. Like, no shame on like other brands, but a lot of places, like for instance, like the Huda Beauty, which I like Huda stuff. Mm-hmm. Their eyeshadows are extremely expensive, so you're gonna be paying like twenty seven dollars for like a nine pack of colors when, you know, this color pop stuff is amazing. Um, let's and see. Their formula is so nice. So good. Um, and let's see what else we can look at. For instance, let's see. Mascara. $8 for the BFF mascara. $8 wow. guys for a color pop mascara. And last but not least, let's do a lip. Let's do some lip pricing. So for a lippy stick, you're going to pay seven bucks. Wow. That's amazing. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure their highlighter is pretty good too. And it's like $8. Guys, I got to show you this. 
these lippy sticks that I was talking about, I don't know if you can read this or not, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. If you go on the ColourPop website, a lot of stuff is out of stock. Like, they're constantly refilling and constantly selling out. It's so good, guys. And I just feel like it's going to get bigger and bigger as time goes. Mm -hmm. I do, too. Love it, love it. So, I guess, Cass, should we... What's next in our facial step? Blush? Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do blush. Let's show off. I'm so excited to see the blushes that came in yours. Okay, so should we, like, show off our whole collection first? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Would you like to go first? Sure. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys. This is the box that it came in. That Very is fantastic. huge. I know. It's ginormous. Like, this is my face. Um, the design's very pretty. It's kind of lifted up from the box a little bit. Um, it's very, I, I just love it. It's soft. Um, and then it's got like little sprinkles all around. Um, oh, and on the back, this ColourPop X Candyland. Okay. And let me see. I think something just fell out. Oh, it did. The cards are going everywhere. Um, oh, okay. no. <laughs> you open the dang thing up and we got <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. And then um, these are the cards that are falling out. They're over here. Um, but they're little pieces. So I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. Um, you know, the instead of the Candyland, it says ColourPop Land. That's amazing. And they're just like the regular Candyland cards except ColourPop. Um, and then it came with four of these little guys. A yellow, pink, green, and blue figurine. They're so cute. <laughs> um and then what do you think should should I show the products and then you can go ahead and show all yours like I won't talk about them too much or yeah. okay um so we'll go ahead this is a um princess lolly ruler lip gloss which I'll show you guys in a little bit um if you like the ruler lip glosses back in the day you're gonna like that uh it came with three glowing lip balms which smell like thin mint cookies Ooh. and this is the packaging for those super cute Okay, we have a, and this is really cute. I love this part. Okay, I only have one complaint from this box is the, the highlighter is like, oh, it's kind of hard to get the highlighter out of the, okay. Um, this is the highlighting powder. It is the Queen Frosting Puffy Pix, oops, Queen Frosting Pixie Puff Highlighter. So this Ooh. is the packaging. That was the one thing from this collection that I really wanted yeah, was that. Super cute. Eleven. Why am I not surprised? He's always got to push something off. Um, and then these Super Shock Cheeks. So these Ooh. are the same formula as the Super Shock Shadows, but in blush. Um, it came with three of these. They smell like gumdrops. Oh, my gosh. Those are so pretty. Thank you. And then we have the Feeling Plumpy Face Milk Kit. that comes with watermelon, papaya, and coconut face milk. Ooh, have you tried those? Do you like them? Yes. I, I'm so far, I've used the watermelon one a whole bunch and it, they smell so good. So it's like, oh, guys, they also have um, skincare stuff on their website. Yes. And it um, sounds amazing. Like I haven't tried it, but. Delicious. Oh, uh, it's called Fourth Ray Beauty. That's what it's called. Um, and then last but not least, we have this um, eyeshadow palette. Oh, I love it. Super cute. And I'll just show you guys this real quick. Um, it comes with um, a mirror and it's got a lot of pastel -y colors, which usually I'm not one to um, grab a pastel palette, but mm -hmm. I figured why the heck not? 2020 has been crazy. So why don't we just go ahead and just go outside our boundaries? <laughs> right. I think we should do like crazy looks tonight with our makeup palettes. Let's do it. It's not like we're going anywhere else tonight, you know? <laughs> so Nikki, show us everything from yours I am so excited to see your stuff so because I ordered this collection I did start watching Sailor Moon again and yeah. I'm obsessed with the show again like I tried to watch it like a year ago and I was like oh this is too girly for me <laughs> but I tried well I gave it another chance and I watched like a couple more episodes and I fell in love with it so this collection means like extra more to me than it did previously um but 
and I'll just show in the packaging like you did, and then once we get into it, like, I'll show the actual products. So they come with two lip sets, and this one is the Daylight Lip Bundle, and this one is the Moonlight Lip Bundle. And this is, like, her Sailor Moon outfit, and then this is, like, her everyday outfit. They're amazing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're so cute. You're making me want to spend more money. <laughs> right? I know. Um, and then they come with these. And, guys, I'm so – I might not even use highlighter. I might use these on my face today. <laughs> um, these are – what are they called? Something glitter. I don't remember what they're called. But they're, like – I think it's called glitter, Glitterly Obsessed – and um, the one's called Moon Prism Power, and the other one's called Moonlight Legend. And they're glitter stuff. They're like glitters. And when I say glitters, you'll just see. I I don't know how else to explain it, but by saying you'll just see. Um, so cute. I just want to say it's already so cute. <laughs> amazing I don't want to throw away this packaging and wait until I open the packaging and you see the packaging of the packaging it's <laughs> it's amazing okay and then it came with two blushes with Luna on the front she's so cute um this one's called from the moon and this one's cat's eye and they don't look different in the packaging but once I open them you'll see the difference I love it and then it comes with an eyeshadow palette And the names on these, if you've watched Sailor Moon, are amazing. Like, there's Shining Moon, Twilight Flash, Silver Cl- <laughs> Take a drink. <laughs> oh, man. Silver Crystal, Moon Castle, Luna, Miracle Romance, Love, Mar... Mar... Seriantis? I don't freaking know. Silver Millennium, Tuxedo Rose, Justice, and Full Moon. Tuxedo Rose. And please just appreciate, I don't know if you can tell, but, like, it's her mouth moves. <laughs> so cool. That is so cute. Ooh. It's amazing. That is so pretty. And I kept this in here because I'm a weirdo and just kept it in here. Hey, you got to keep it nice, you know? So that is my Sailor Moon collection. And I'm super excited to share and show you guys the rest of it. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see how it looks on your face. I can't wait. I know. So um, I guess with that being said, let's hop into our blush. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's see now guys I did not know how to feel about this blush because I've only ever used powder blush like I've never used a cream blush I've never used like a liquid blush none of that craziness so I was not sure how to feel about these so I think I'm gonna go for the crazier of the colors and uh, what is what are the colors called Let's see. This one is called. Does it have a? I think tie dye. Let me see. I think this one's called tie dye. Hi, Levin. Are you gonna say hi to everybody? He's like, no. I'm just gonna watch you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So let's see. This one's called Gumdrop Pass. Oh, I love cream. Are they like a cream blush or? They're like a. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're like the same texture as the Super Shock Shadows. I so love like cream a... blush. Oh, it smells so fresh. You know, this actually smells like something from like my teenage <laughs> years. Oh, geez. Is it like the, I know this is like a weird comparison, but is it like the Hannah Montana perfume? Oh my God, yes. Is that what it is? Yes. Why did I know that? I've Why never it... smelled that in my whole life. Why does it smell like the Hannah Montana perfume? I'm I'm freaking psychic, guys. I'm calling that it right now. Crazy. I'm calling it right now. I'm actually shook. 
I don't know how that just popped into my head. Now I'm going to show you guys the Hannah Montana perfume real quick, and then we'll get right into it. Hannah Montana. And guys, I swear, I swear, I've never smelled this blush, and I've never, like, watched a review on this blush that somebody said that. Yes! Why does it smell like the Hannah Montana perfume? That is so weird. That is so weird. Oh, my God. I'm best friends with the psychic. Um, and then this one is tie-dye. I've used this one, so it's kind of... Ooh, that's pretty. And then the third one is called... Oh, did I say the last one was called... Go- or, okay. This one's Gum called... Gumdrop? Jolly, my bad. And then this one's called Gummy More. Ooh. It's like, give me more, but gummy more. Is it okay? So let's, <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and go in with. I'll go ahead and go in with gumdrop pass. Mm. Okay. And so I'm going to show you guys the amazing packaging on these blushes. What? I didn't know it had the. That is so cute. So there's that. And this one is from the moon. This one is kind of like a matte bronzer mm. or bronzer, matte blush. And I almost like hate to use this because the cute little Luna pattern's going to go away on it. But there's that. And then this one is Cat's Eye. And this blush is stunning. Like it has little glitters in it. Oh, I don't my. even know if you can see the glitter on the camera, but. I don't want you to use those. I don't want little Luna to go away. Right? So I'm actually going to use a combination of both of them. Ooh. I don't think these don't smell like anything. <laughs> they actually kind of smell kind of bad. Yeah, guys. And if you know what the good. Hannah Montana perfume smells like, or if you forget what the Hannah Montana perfume smells like and you want to be thrown back to like 2000, what, seven? Buy these blushes because, man, they're going to throw you back. I used to use that perfume all the time. Oh, so good. Cass, do you blend your blush into your bronzer? Um, I actually have. Um, I used to just like do like, just the like balls of my cheeks, like mm-hmm. just sexual emotions. But now I kind of bring it back. Um, after I kind of learned how to actually do blush, because before I was low key looking like Jigsaw from the Saw movies, that little. Uh... <laughs> I also, love that. Also, guys, Halloween's coming up, and you know October we're gonna have some things planned. Oh, definitely. Just wanted to tell you guys that right now that we are gonna have some stuff planned for October it's so you guys better be ready to get spooked 11 beautiful what is 11 doing getting into my two-faced box that my pumpkin spice palette came in and he's like trying to lay in it but he's not he's too big like (laughs) oh he's so cute though god I love him though yeah go ahead 11 eat the Packaging. Yeah, that's fine. You know. Oh, oh, Nikki, that blush is so pretty. As I love yours. Thank you. I oh. don't think I put them back in the right box, but that's fine. That packaging is so pretty. Like. Right. I'm obsessed with it. Um. So I learned this new trick from a YouTuber that I watch that does makeup. She uses a blending sponge to like blend in her bronzer and blush and highlighter to make it like sink into her skin and honestly like it's been my new favorite thing to do Ooh, I'm gonna have to do that I don't have a beauty blender on me right now but if I did I would totally do that Ooh, that looks beautiful thank you I'm obsessed all righty what do we have next oh um let's you know what let's be crazy let's go ahead and do Hmm, I'm trying to think. Do we want to do an eye? Li- do we want to do an eyeshadow, or do we want to do lips next? Or should we do highlighter? 
Oh, yes. Let's do highlighter. Let's do it. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Guys, this highlighter is so pretty. Like, I, I'm obsessed with this highlighter. Um, so you open it up and you get a big old blue puff. And you just go shaky, shaky, shake and get some highlighter out of there. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it up. I wish that I could show you guys on camera what this stuff looks like. But I know it's not going to do it any justice. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Okay. So, Nikki, whenever you put a highlighter on, are you looking for something that's going to be blinding? Or are you more subtle? You know, it depends on where I'm going. If I'm going to work, I kind of do more subtle. But if I'm going, like, anywhere else, I like a blinding highlight. Um, so here are these glitterly obsessed guys. I took the tops off. So this is what I'm actually going to be using on my face. Ooh. And it's, like, this pink glitter. It's so Ooh. pretty. And then there is a purple glitter that actually has moons and stars in it oh that's so cute and i think let me look what are they called oh yeah okay so the purple one is moon prism power and this is what the top looks like oh super sailor moony and then this one's called something that i can't see moonlight legend so I'm actually going to take the, a clump of this. I'm going to need a, I'm gonna need a uh, mirror for this. <laughs> I'm excited to see how these work as a highlighter. Oh, and also, guys, this stuff works great on your body. So you can go ahead and just take the puff and just kind of go like this with it. And you can have a glittery chest and a glittery shoulders. Ooh. Ooh, Nikki, look at that. We love a girl that sparkles. Girl. Yeah, Mike, it's going to be in my hair a little bit, but that's fine. That looks so cool. I love this. Dang. You got to show up to work tomorrow with your moons on you. <laughs> right. I feel like uh, my students would love it, but I feel like the other teachers I work with would be like, what the heck is she wearing? <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys can see the highlighter or not. Oh, yes. That is beautiful, Cass. Thank you. Man, this is like making me want to go, like, just go buy some stuff from ColourPop. <laughs> right? This makes me want to, like, go to a festival. <laughs> right? <laughs> Or, like, a concert or something. So, let's talk about how, like, Coachella never happened this year. Oh, my God, it didn't. That didn't happen. I didn't go to any concerts. Same. I haven't really went anywhere. Like, this whole COVID thing has just ruined everything. But I just keep telling myself that maybe one day things will be normal again. Okay, why does that look so cute as highlighter? Right? And it's literally just chunks of glitter. That is so cute. I'll see. I'll do what you did and like put my flashlight on it. I don't know if it's doing it. Oh, yeah, like that. You can see it. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my god. I put a little bit on my nose. It's so pretty. That's that amazing. So pretty. I'll do a little bit. I'll do a swatch of the um, other one too. Yes, yes. Let's see what it looks like. I'll do it on my hand. It's very, like, I don't like this one as much just because it's so chunky. Ooh. I don't know if that's, like, a good view of it, but. That's pretty. I can see the little moon and the stars. Yeah. Super cute. But, like I said, also chunky. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> that might have to be one of those things you experiment with until you find, like, a texture you like with it. Right. Definitely. Definitely. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. Guys, drop down below what your favorite ColourPop products are. Let us know. 
And have you ever used ColourPop? Is this your first time, like, hearing about them? And what do you think so far? Are you going to check them out once you're done listening to this? Because you totally should. It's worth it. It is worth it. All right, Cass. What are we on to next? Do you think we ought to just go crazy and do eyeshadow next? Let's do eyeshadow. Why the heck not? I'm excited to see what you're going to create with yours. I don't know. Like, I'm a very neutral kind of gal. So, oh, I did show this already. It's so cute. I love it. I don't know what type of color scheme I'm going to like, go for. So, the only thing I don't like about this um, palette is that it doesn't have a mirror. Mm. But the blushes do, which is weird. Hmm. Maybe they're like, well, if you get the eyeshadow, you're bound to get the blush because it's so good. So Basically. <laughs> Hmm. I guess I'm just going to kind of go in and just create, I guess. So what color are you starting with? Like, what are you going to use for a base? So I'm going to start with this Lord Licorice, which is this brown color here. Ooh. Just for a transition shade, just to kind of get it down and have something to work on. I think I'm going to start with Shining Moon. Which is this first color right here. Ooh. I oh. almost tried to use this as a mirror. So, Nikki, what is your, like, is there, like, a style or, like, something with makeup that you wish you could master that you just can't? Like, is there anything that you're like, man, I wish I could do this, but I just can't get the technique down? fake lashes oh I'm awful at fake lashes me I've never actually tried to put them on myself other than that one time we bought those elf eyelashes oh we did and the glue was messed up oh no that was our luck huh I remember you were like I'm calling elf and I'm I'm calling elf for a refund yep off of our like two dollar eyelash right (laughs) Okay, okay, so up next I'm going to go in with this King Candy color, which is this peach. Oh, I like that. Oh, King Candy with a K. Candy. King Candy. That reminds me of um, Wreck-It Ralph, that guy. Is his name King Candy, too? Oh, is his name King Candy? Like, the bad guy? I feel like it might be. I feel like it might be, too. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what I wanna do. I'm gonna go in and do kind of like a sherbet color. Like something mm. that'll remind you of getting sherbet from the ice cream truck or something. So I think what I'm gonna do is like a, I don't know, I really wanna use a silver millennium color. I think I'm gonna do like a yellow. Should I do purple or yellow on the top? Mm. Maybe purple. I think purple's crazy, so I would go for candy. I mean, what? You go for candy. Uh, uh, King Candy is the name of the guy from Wreck It Ralph. Is it really? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, I'm going to go in. I'm going to do like a purple on the top and a yellow on the bottom lash. Ooh. I think. I think that I I really wish I could do, like, a good winged liner. Like, a winged liner where I was confident enough to do it every single day when I do right. it. Right. Because. That, that's a great goal. Honestly, like, when I do it now, I only do it when I know I'm going to have time to do my makeup. Like, because mm-hmm. if I try to rush through it, I always mess up. And this is I could really learn. hard. Oh, in the mirror? Yeah. I'm used to having, like, my vanity mirror in front of me. Also, I wish I could learn how to stop my smile lines from creasing. Have you tried... Like, I know you use powder. Um, But have you tried, like... 
Oh, what was I going to say? Crap. I actually just lost my train of thought. Oh, no. It's like a powder, but not a powder. Putty primer. Have you tried those in your smile I lines? I've tried it in just my smile lines. That might be what I need. Because it's so irritating because I'll bake it and bake it and bake it. Mm-hmm. And it'll still like 15 minutes down the road, it's still going to crease. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Um, guys, I'm going to go in with this Grandma Nut, which is like this dark. <laughs> what is it called? Grandma Nut. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's thinking it. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Grandma. That is a terrible name. I know. Grandma Nut. I mean, you know, whatever grandma likes, I guess. Whatever grandma likes, grandma gets, apparently. I mean, when I'm a grandma, I hope that's the case. Same, girl. Okay. I guess I didn't tell you guys what other color I was going in with. Um, On my lid, I'm doing Miracle Romance, which is a very pretty purple color. Mm-hmm. This bottom one right here. Now, is that like a bright purple? It is, like, I don't even know if, like, the camera is doing it justice, but it is, it's stunning. And then I'm going to go in with the color Luna, the pretty, like, sparkly dark purple over here. Ooh. Now, who's your favorite, um, who's your favorite character from Sailor Moon? Ooh, I don't know. I really like, obviously, um, Usagi, which is Sailor Moon. She is just, like, very emotional, and I love an emotional gal that's not afraid to put people in their places. I, too, am emotional. (laughs) Same. (laughs) Um... So I really like her. I love Luna, her cat. Um, And then there's this white cat named Artemis, which is amazing. And then the other Sailor Guardians, because there's more than just Sailor Moon. Um, I really like the... I think it's Veen... Veen. I guess Joy likes her, too. Whoa. Dang! Um... But I like Sailor Venus and Sailor Mars. Oh, good, good choices. Good choices. I like Sailor Jupiter. Oh, yes. Wait, have I seen Sailor Jupiter yet? Is she the redheaded girl? She is. I think she's the green one. The green. Or, I think that she's does the... like thunder, right? Yeah. Let, you know what? Sailor Jupiter. Am I thinking about the? Okay, yes, yes. Okay, this is what she looks like. Yeah, she does, like, thunder and lightning and stuff. Man, now I really want to watch Sailor Moon again. It's on Hulu. I'm obsessed. Um, Okay, guys, so now that I have that down, I'm going to go in with this white shade Oh, called Sugar High. It's, like, a, um, it's this one right here. And it's, like, a um, bright, shiny little white color. So I'm going to go in with that. That makes me think of Harry Styles' new song, The Watermelon Sugar. Hi. Oh, I love that song. I love him. I know you do. <laughs> I think everybody on this podcast knows that now. Okay, guys, if you... Never mind, I'm not going to say it. I was going to say, if you want to watch a music video and you just want to watch a music video... Just watch the music video. Watch that one. Sugar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use that other glitter on my eyes. Oh, good idea. Watermelon sugar. Hi. (laughs) So, Cass, what has been going on with you? Like, is there anything new happening? Uh, I had food poisoning last week. Oh, no. Is that what was wrong? Yeah, it was awful. It was, like, the the worst grade of food poisoning, I found out. Oh, my gosh. Um, Are you okay? 
Yeah, I am now. But for a second, I thought that I was going to die. I'm not kidding. Like, I... Okay, guys. Uh, this is just, like, a real quick trigger warning. If, like, throw up and bodily fluids freak you out, you might not want to listen to this. Um, but I really thought I was going to throw my soul up. Like, I... I did not stop throwing up like, and I was going to the bathroom until 3 AM and, uh, I had the chills. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm obsessed. That was so pretty. Um, I had the chills. I had a fever for like 12 hours. Um, I was just throwing up. Um, I felt completely awful. Like I, it was awful. My stomach felt like somebody was stabbing it with a knife. Like it was horrible. Um, I wasn't allowed to go to work for two days because I had a fever for like 12 hours and that's just protocol right now with COVID. Um, but luckily I didn't have a cough. Like I didn't have a bad cough. I didn't have any trouble breathing. I could smell and taste things. So, um, it was just awful. It was just, it wasn't good. I slept the whole bunch and now I never want to go to Hardee's again because I'm pretty sure their chicken is what got me really sick. So thanks Mm -hmm. Hardee's. Oh, I don't know you anytime soon. Um, other than that, though, things have been going good. Uh, we celebrated Ryan's birthday on Sunday. Uh, his actual birthday is tomorrow. Um, happy birthday, Ryan! <laughs> yes, happy birthday. Um, and we've just been having a good time. Uh, oh, I'm gonna use the color cravings. This yellow, sparkly yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger to put that on my eyelids. Um. But other than that, we've just been kind of living life day by day. We've been taking it as it comes and making the most out of everything. Uh, we're officially less than two weeks away from being in Dubois. I'm so excited. Wait. Like, I legit might cry when you... <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait. Uh, Nikki and I have been talking about the sheets trip that we're going to be making and um taco bell i'm sure um all oh, that heck yeah stuff. taco bell i can't wait i'm so excited um other than that though just living the life how about you and justin what's going on over there oh not too much um i went back to work last week which we've talked about so i am absolutely exhausted i'm having seven or seven six months off And then going back to work has been very, very rough on me. Um, Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. But I am going in with the color Justice, this yellow right here. Ooh. Um, But, yeah, we just, we've been... Hanging out with some of Justin's friends and my friends, I guess you could call them. It's really weird. I don't know. Are you friends with any of, like, Ryan's good friends? Um, I, it's kind of like, uh, I don't really talk to him and we haven't really gotten to hang out with any of them because he's been working so much. But, you know, I I would consider him my friends. It's kind of weird because, like, um... I don't know. Like, I just feel like they're Justin's friends, but they're also my friends. But, like, they were my husband's friends first. That's good, though, that you have a good relationship with them. Like, I know a lot of girls don't like their husband's friends. So it's, like, a good thing that you have a good relationship with them. I feel like that just makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, it definitely does. And, like, they're super sweet people. Um, so guys, I'm gonna go into this rainbow trail color, which is this mint. I'm gonna go underneath my waterline with that. Um, but that's really good. Um, were you guys just over there over the weekend? We were. So we did. Um, so on Friday, Justin's parents came over for dinner, and my brother Matt came over to have a movie night with us outside. We did like a. We have a projector. And we sit in our screened-in porch and watch movies. So we did that on Friday. Um, Saturday, we went over to Justin's friend's house. And they played um, the card game Magic. I don't know if you guys would know what that is. But not something I'm exactly into. But, like, I like hanging out with them. So I went anyway. 
even though I just kind of sat there and did nothing. You got to pet a little cute dog. I did get to cuddle a cute <laughs> dog. Okay, guys, and last but not least, I'm going to go back in with that sugar high color, this metallic white, and I'm going to go ahead and go into my inner corners with that bad boy. What a minute, sugar high. So much sugar high. Okay, and lastly for me, I'm going to go in with, what is this called? Silver Millennium. And it is this stunning, like, yellowish champagne color. That is beautiful. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work on a brush. I might have to use my finger. What would you give that palette on a scale from 1 to 10? Honestly, I thought I wasn't going to use it that much. But now that I have it and see the colors, I'm going to give it, like, an 8 out of 10. That's an awesome rating. Yeah. I mean, like, that's a good, solid palette. It has neutrals. It has shimmers. It has... Like, bright colors, but not, like, I don't know. Like, not, like, um, like a bright green that you're not going to use at all. Right. Oh, my God. This color is beautiful. I haven't used this one yet. I'm going to swatch this for you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got pink in it. Oops. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, look who came to say hi. Is it 11? 11. Oh, he's so cute. You definitely cannot see that, but like. Ooh, oh my gosh. It's amazing. Oh, hi, hi, buddy. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, I love you, baby. And your little belly. His little belly. Okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> What did he just do? He I missed like, it. Meow, and like jumped out of my arm. <laughs> He's okay, like, let Brad, me down, mom. I'm patrolling the house. <laughs> I was like, do you think this is a joke? I'm protecting you. <laughs> Basically. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would give this, if I'm being honest about this palette, I don't know how much I'm going to use it, if I'm being honest. Uh, just because I feel like pastels are something that I somewhat lean against or lead um, opposite from. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'll give the colors a solid 6 out of 10. You know, Ooh. I'll give it a, give it a good, good little rating. Um, and like I said, that's only because this isn't something that I could, I feel like I'm going to be reaching for every day. You know what I mean? This isn't something that... This isn't something that I'm going to be using on a daily. Dang, look at that. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, ooh, I didn't really look at yours. I like it. Thank you. I don't know if you can see it very well with the um, lighting, but I kind of went with like a sherbet color. And check out our thumbnail, guys, if you want to see, like, actually see what these look like. Yeah. Because we will be taking pictures afterwards. And I got to yes. wipe off my excess, like... <laughs> I fell, fell out that's the one thing about ColourPop like they have a lot of fallout I've noticed like the eyeshadows do mm -hmm. I have also noticed that um, sometimes you just gotta play with it and just make sure you blot your face real good yeah I'm really happy with this I think that's really pretty I feel like it's coming across as kind of like sloppy on camera but like if you look at it in person it's like Sailor Moon. Smooth and beautiful. All right. Okay. So should we go ahead and put a thick layer of mascara on now? Heck yeah. What okay. mascara are you using, Cass? I am using the... I think it's L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal Voluminous. <laughs> Voluminous. Voluminous. And for you listeners, we just took a drink. We just took a drink. Uh, the Lash Paradise. I you love that mascara. Love that mascara. That, what about you? What are you using? I am using the Surfer Curl Mascara from Tarte. Ooh. How do you like that? 
I don't really know how I feel. I try to give mascara like a decent a decent try because like I feel like the first time you use it isn't like its full potential. Right. So I don't really know how I feel about this. I didn't care for it the first time I used it. So that's why I'm gonna give it another shot today. Like actually, um, Essence has this mascara. I think it's called Lash Princess. Mm-hmm. And I bought it and tried it and hated it. Oh. Um, but I would like I said I like to give it more than one try. So I've been using it the last two days and I love it. So. Sometimes I, it just depends on what type of like. I don't know, mood you're in maybe? I don't know. I feel like certain makeup I really like on some days and on other days I can't stand. So I don't know if maybe that has to do with our mood or what. Maybe. I think you're right. It just depends on the look you're going for. I 100% agree with you. Also, for some reason, I really want a Wendy's um, Frosty right now. Ooh. Wendy's Frosty Chinos are my jam right now. Good. Oh, no, I have a star in my eyeball. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. How do I fix this? (laughs) Is it, like, on your contact? It's, like, on my... Oh, I think I got it. I got it. Crisis averted. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I'm going to go blind. Oh, no. It's in the name of makeup. Oh my In the gosh. name of the moon, I'll punish you. <laughs> Except it's the star. It's fine. I might go blind, but it's worth it. It's worth it. You did it for the video. <laughs> do, do it for the podcast. Do it for the podcast. So pretty. Mascara takes me forever. I know. I'm always so afraid of freaking poking myself in the eye. Which I've done that a few times. And guys, if you've never poked yourself in the eye with a mascara wand, do not do it. Like, don't for fun be like, oh, I'm going to poke myself in the eye. See how it feels. Because it does not feel good. Okay. Yeah, see, now that I use this, uh, like, second time, I like it. I think it looks beautiful. I think I'm just afraid to like, like, super expensive mascara. Yeah, it's a commitment. <laughs> Because I don't want to have to buy it. And I go through a lot of mascara. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to be, like, crazy for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Mm -hmm. Um, But I found that this is quite literally an exact dupe of Better Than Sex. It is literally an exact dupe. Like, guys, let me show you the, um, the mascara brush on this guy. Like, it doesn't look exactly like it, but it's pretty dang close. I got a a moon on my mascara brush. (laughs) So, um, just a tip for anybody that uses these glitters on your eyes, don't. (laughs) Yeah, uh, be careful if you do. (laughs) Just don't do it. Um, that was probably a bad decision on my part. But, you know, you live and you learn. Like what else we have left? Lip stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about lips. I cannot wait to see your stuff. Oh my gosh, it's uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna choose day or night. I used the night the other day, so maybe I'll do the day one. I'm trying to think of what I think they're both they were both sold out, weren't they? Mm-hmm. The day one I think sold out faster. That's crazy. I'm actually gonna look and see if any of the Candyland stuff. Oh, so it looks like the only thing available from the Candyland collection is the Jolly Blush, the Feeling Plumpy Face Stuff, um, I guess all the blushes, the Princess Lolly Roller Gloss, and the Eyeshadow Palette. So let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. So the only thing that's available from the Sailor Moon collection is the eyeshadow palette and the From the Moon blush. Really? Everything else is out of stock. Wow. Ah, well, I mean, this eyeshadow palette is amazing. It's beautiful. Honestly, like, 
So you have like your like everyday colors that you can use, and then you have like these pops of colors down here. So pretty. And really, like the purple isn't that like bam in your face. So I feel like you could even use it every day. Don't you love colors like that? I do. I, I really do. I know. I don't know which. I don't know which uh, lip product I'm gonna use. Yeah, because you have a lot. I do. I have three of the balms and one of the roller glosses. I definitely think I'm gonna use a balm. Which one? Let's chill. Peppermint frost or Mr. Mint. Ooh. Let's see. Watermelon sugar. Hi. <laughs> That's gonna be like our new Hi. song. <laughs> Watermelon sugar. Hi. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you the daylight stuff first. So you have this ultra blotted lip. So like an ultra blotted lip, like makes it look like you put lipstick on and blotted it. So it's like kind of that muted, pretty look. But it goes on so smooth. Like, it does not feel like a sticky lip gloss. It is very, it's like the smoothest lip whatever I've ever put on. So there's that. And then it comes with this pretty lip gloss. And I don't know if these have separate names. I feel like they do. Oh, okay. So this is called Usagi, which is the Sailor Moon's name. And then this is called Moon Tiara. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. That is so cute. And then the daylight, or daylight, moonlight one. This is the ultra blotted lip. Ooh. And this is the gloss. Mm. See, I feel like I like the moonlight ones better. And then this is called Bunhead. <laughs> and this one is called Sailor Moon. So, yes, Those these... Pretty. These lip collect this these lip stuff things are amazing stuff. These lip stuff. These lip stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll show you guys. This is what Let's Chill looks like. Oh, I like that. Thank you. And like I said earlier, these all smell like mint thin mints from um Girl Scout cookies. Uh this is peppermint frost. It's a little bit more of a muted pink. And then this last one is Mr. Mint. And this one is more of like an orangey. I like the Mr. Mint. I do too. I'm probably going to go for the Mr. Mint. I'm losing stars and moons. Okay. Alrighty. Go ahead and just put it on. I should probably use a mirror. Now, the really good thing about um, these tinted lip balms is that they're not full pigment. So, they're, like, just enough pigment to give you that color. But it's not something that's going to um, get patchy or uh, kind of get on, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not going to look patchy. Oh my gosh, guys, this stuff is so good. It is it is so good. It's since it's a balm, it's hydrating on your lips. That's really nice. So not only does it look cute, but it also feels great on your lips. And is it like cooling? A little bit. A tiny bit. And not only that, but it also attracts your cat. <laughs> so here's you. the ultra blotted lip by itself Ooh. and I am using the daylight one so this is Usagi and then I'm gonna put the <laughs> I just smacked my elbow off my desk I heard that <laughs> and also, I'm gonna put the moon tiara lip gloss so the blotted lip does it dry like a liquid lip um yes but it's like you can't even tell it's there like, it's that thin. That is so pretty. I love that. So, I also hate the applicator on the lip gloss. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, yep. 
Uh, I have a lip gloss that has the same applicator and I feel the same way you do. I feel like you can't get precise with that. Like, I feel like with that applicator, it's just kind of a little more sloppy than if you would use like a lip gloss with like a doe foot or a different applicator. It's just really annoying. So that's really my only critique. Like the product is amazing. And it smells really good. Mm-hmm. This, like, makes me want to go buy a whole bunch of makeup. Same. Honestly. Oh, no. I put way too much on. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. I can fix it. I hope. Yeah. Enjoy. Um, guys that are listening, that's the good thing about makeup is that there's really no rules. Like... Do whatever you want. If you want to put too much lip gloss on, put too much lip gloss on. If you want to not blend your eyeshadow when you put it on, don't blend your eyeshadow. Who cares? Who's going to say anything? And if they do say anything, guess what? Forget tell them. It. Tell them where to shove your lipstick applicator. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Ooh, that is so pretty. I love the, I love these. This actually kind of smells like coffee. Like It kind of oh. smells like a coffee shop. Oh. Yeah. I knew you would like that. Delicious. And it actually, like, tastes good, too. Not that I would advise to eat your uh, lip gloss, but... <laughs> oh. But, yeah. Let me show you guys this roller gloss real quick. So, this is what it looks like. It's really cute. It's got little lollipops. And this is called Princess Lolly. And it just smells sweet. It smells like candy. So, it's got the OG um, ruler ball. Oh, it smells like the 90s. So Princess Lolly was my favorite um, character in yeah. Candyland. She's so cute. I always liked Queen Frostine. Yes, she was my second favorite. I loved her. I hated Plumpy. And I hated... Uh, Mr. Glump, or what was his name? Mr. Muck. Was no. it like the gumdrop guy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like him. Me either. I like him. Um, I guess is that all for you? Is that all for both of our collections? I think. That's it. Dang, I'd say we did pretty freaking good. Definitely. Um, guys, down below, let us know. Like, check out ColourPop's website and let us know what collection you are most interested in. Yes, and let us know what the heck type of collection would you like to see from ColourPop. I personally am on that bandwagon. I would love a Powerpuff Girls collection. Same. I love the Powerpuff Girls. So cool. I know that if they do that, though, man, it's going to sell out. Yeah. Quick. I, yeah, I definitely agree. But honestly, it might be one of those collections that I, like, just snatch up because it's Powerpuff Girls. Like, Mm -hmm. that's from our childhood. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even care if the makeup's bad. Like, listen to me. I don't care if the makeup's bad. I'm spending $100 on it just because it's Powerpuff Girls. Um, But, guys, yeah. uh, I hope that you enjoyed our makeup. Uh, What do you think about our final looks? Uh, I know the cameras may not be very good right now on our webcams because of the lighting and all that. At least on my side. Um, But, like Vicky said, um, we'll put a thumbnail up and we will show you guys um, a final look. Super excited about that. Definitely. So, Cass, do you have any, do you have a rant of the day for us? A rant of the day. Let me think. I hate when people just pry into your life. Yes. Like, I I hate the fact that, like, people, I don't want to say what type of people, because I don't want somebody to listen to this and be like, why did you talk about, but I (laughs) like when people are nosy and just pry about pry for information like well why didn't you come to this why did well, what do you mean you didn't feel good like mm-hmm. and not even in a caring way you know what I mean you were texting me throughout the weekend saying oh how are you feeling you know you weren't like oh well what are your symptoms do you have COVID-19 are you gonna go get tested it's like whoa <laughs> right I mean I feel like right now that's what everybody's thinking is like, oh, they have COVID-19. It's almost like you can't even get regular sick anymore. It's automatically, oh, COVID-19. Mm-hmm. It's like, 
I can't stand that. Like people have just got to stop. Like I understand asking questions if you're curious, but like limit it to one or two questions. Like don't stand there and shoot 50 questions at me. Question after question. It's like, no, I don't owe you my life. Like I don't owe you my life story. So right. that's the answer of the day. It's people that are nosy that don't need to be nosy. Like it's I different love it. it's a good friend, but when it's an acquaintance or something, it's like, it's really none of your business. Right. No, I definitely agree. How about you? Do you have one for tonight? Mine is how some people still act like they're in high school. Like, we are 25, 26, and we should not be acting like we're still in high school. Um, There are cliques everywhere, and that should not be a thing. Like, we are old enough to not have cliques anymore. Talk to whoever you want. Be friends with whoever you want. Like what you like. Don't be afraid to like it. Like, I like Sailor Moon. Is it the most popular thing? No, it's pretty nerdy, right? So, so like, in my head, I'm kind of afraid to tell people I like it just because, like, I don't want them to make fun of me. But at this point, like, I'm almost 26 years old. I don't really care. It's what I enjoy. Preach, sister. I'm like that with Animal Crossing. Even though I feel like that suddenly became the cool thing, but guess what? Right. Okay, a second rant of the day real quick. I hate (laughs) one of the things that were totally nerdy when you were a kid and you'd get made fun of become cool suddenly years later. Yes. Yes. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. Like watching, watching anime. All of a sudden that's the cool thing. It's the cool thing to do. And like Pokemon cards and all that stuff. Don't even get me started. I will just go off. But it's cool whenever the people that were cool in high school do it now. It's not cool. It wasn't cool when we did it because we were just nerdy. Yeah. You know what? If you want to play Pokemon Go, go play Pokemon Go. Right. Agreed. I hate people that are like, you really still play Pokemon Go? I mean, no, I deleted the app because I got mad, but my husband does, and he's going to be 33 tomorrow. What are you going to do? Talk trash on Ryan? Like, I'm pretty sure he'll come back at you harder, no offense. Like, (laughs) Ryan's savage. He doesn't care. Like, if you say something to him, he'll blast you one. Like, please, can we please have (laughs) Ryan do the savage dance? (laughs) What's a savage dance? Oh, my, like, I'm a savage. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) Yes! I'm a savage. That's booty ratchet. That is the words. That is Ryan. <laughs> yes, that literally that song was made for Ryan. I'm dead. Um, I taught Justin <laughs> last night how to throw it back. Actually, nice. You taught him how to throw it back. My <laughs> dude has a bubble butt, and he should be throwing it back. Me, on the other hand, have a flat butt and should not be. Same. So, Another rant. Why do our husbands have perfect bubble butts? Right. And like, why you guys have perfect like, eyelashes? And legs. They don't have cellulite. What the heck? This is just rude. This is just straight up rude now. Um, But yeah, guys, just be kind to each other. Let people like what they want to like. And just keep your mouth shut if you don't have anything nice to say. Joy just farted. Ooh. And it smells really <laughs> bad. No. <laughs> no. Ooh. Well, I guess it's better out than in. That's what I always say. That's what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Nikki, do you want to tell our listeners? Did you get any replies? Oh my gosh, guys, I almost forgot. I did get a reply from. Hey! Oh my gosh, Joy, are you okay? <laughs> um, I got a reply from Emily Nelson, which is whoa, that was it was um a YouTuber that I watch. She does Disney stuff. She answered me and said, um, oh no, I hope this isn't too late, but hi, thank you so much for supporting me for so long. That means so much. Good luck with your podcast. I'll have to check it out. Aw, yay. So I heart reacted to it and replied with a faith. Thank you so much for replying. No problem. I love watching all your Disney and non-Disney adventures. Keep doing you. P.S. You and Tom are adorable. He is so funny. And Tom is her boyfriend. Oh, that's awesome. 
That was really awesome. Um, I did not get any replies, but I found out that uh, Christian Gray does not accept DMs on Instagram. Rude. Like, it's straight up, this is what it said when I tried to DM him. Let me read it to you guys. Uh, it kind of shook me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Uh, can't receive your message. They don't allow new message requests from just anyone. Wow. Okay, Jamie Dorian. I know. I'm mad. Okay. Rude. I know. I know. I saw that and I was like, ah, uh, boy, come on. Like, who makes okay, this is this is a rant, and we're going on like an hour and a half, but that's fine. I don't understand when celebrities act that way. Like, who made you famous? Exactly. Your fans did. Exactly. Yep. And I also watched a thing on him today where he was saying that um, he he doesn't necessarily regret being Christian Grey, but that he's traumatized by the experience. Okay. Because he didn't like to get naked in front of other people. Okay. Okay. You knew what you were signing up for. That's, exactly. Christian Grey, what did you think? You were going to be wearing pants the whole time? Like, and apparently his wife was real offended by the movies. I'm like, girl, your husband's bringing home millions. You're never going to have to work a day in your life. Right. There you go. Guys, this is just a rant-filled episode. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, that, like, makes me not like Jamie Dorian anymore. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, guys, I'm very sorry I didn't get any replies. Um, I also checked all of them, and none of the messages were even read. So, none of the celebrities read it. That's so sad. <laughs> That's okay, though, because, I mean, was I really expecting Harry Styles to reply? Kind you of. Were, okay. You were hoping. Hoping, but that's all right. Um, but if you like that, let us know. We'll do it again. Yeah. Don't ever be afraid to message somebody that inspires you. That yeah. was the point of last week's podcast, so. Exactly. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I know we're going on a long podcast tonight. Mm -hmm. um if you stuck through it with us this whole time doing our makeup um if you did a makeup look with us go ahead and drop it down below uh just let us know what you liked what you didn't like what you want to hear um nikki where can we be found on social media we can be found on instagram facebook twitter uh youtube and some of our podcast platforms are spotify anchor um apple podcast google podcast pocket casts all those good things make sure you subscribe to us on youtube <laughs> like our videos uh, comment on our videos. Go ahead and follow us on all those so social media. I cannot talk. So it's a good thing this is over. <laughs> uh, and yeah, give us a review on Apple Podcasts too, because that would be really cool to see some of those. Yes. I know a lot of the people that listen to us use Apple Podcasts. So yes, yes. Give us a quick rating. We would love that. Um, interact with us, guys. We want to hear from you. We want to let you guys know how much we appreciate you listening. So just mm -hmm. talk to us. Let us know. And we are going to be doing another ghost episode probably this Halloween. So I'm telling you now, guys, send me, send us your ghost stories because yes. I want to read them. We I am a ghost person. I enjoy reading people's ghost stories. So send them to us. Yes, send them to us and let us just be spooked. We want to be spooked. Um, but yeah. Fall's just right around the corner, which means Halloween's coming, which means Thanksgiving's coming, which means Christmas is coming. So, guys, stick with us. All those holidays, we're going to have fun episodes. I hope you guys love tonight's episode. Um, Nikki, if you had to rate one of your makeup, uh, one of the pieces of makeup you used tonight is number one, what would you pick? The lip, the blotted lip stuff. What about you? Uh, I'm going to say the highlighter. Yes. Yeah, the highlighter. Yes. All right, guys. And with that being said, thank you for hanging out with us. I am Nikki. And I'm Cass. And you know what you're listening to. Two eyes. Two eyes. One world. One world. Talk to you guys next time. See ya. Bye.